Hey there, let's talk about lead capture forms in 17 hats, both what they are and why you will want to ensure you're using them in your business. Lead capture forms are a way to streamline how you collect and manage your new client inquiries. Slap one on your website or your social media profile and you'll have initiated step one of automating the process of gathering lead information, initiating workflows, and triggering follow-up actions, all from within your 17 Hats account. You'll save time and get a break from the daily admin grind, and your leads and clients will appreciate your prompt and consistent communication style. And yes, you can absolutely adjust the colors to match your brand, as well as write your own questions. And if you're saying, but 17 Hats, my website already has a contact form. My social media already has DMs. Well, that may be true but they probably aren't automatically putting your leads into the nerve center of your business. And they probably aren't automatically triggering a workflow based on your leads responses or giving you reporting about how they found you. And while they may let you send a thanks for submitting robotic autoresponder, it probably doesn't have custom tokens that make the autoresponder feel more personal. Let me show you how simple it is to set one up. From our 17 hats dashboard, I'll navigate to the left rail and click the little drop down arrow to the right of where it says leads. Then choose capture forms. Next to lead capture methods, choose the add method button and choose lead capture form from the drop down. Give the form a title. I like to title my forms for where they'll live. So I'll call this one website contact page. I usually change the project name after a lead becomes a client, or if my lead form is for one specific revenue stream. So I'll leave the project name as is for now. I want to get an email when I have a new lead, so I'll pick email. And for my auto response, I'll choose none, because for this lead capture form, I'm going to trigger a workflow that has its own auto response. If I weren't triggering a workflow, I would have written an auto response here, or chosen a template from the dropdown if I had already saved one. I want this to go on my leads calendar that I previously set up, and I'm gonna leave this workflow trigger as none because I want to trigger a workflow from a dropdown list question in my form that I'll show you in just a sec. However, if I wasn't going to demonstrate that, I'd trigger a workflow here. And for this section, I'm gonna leave it as is, but you could have it do nothing or go to a different web page if you wanted to. You can customize this message as well. I won't go deeply into tagging in this video, but check 17hatsuniversity.com for more information about using tags. I'll do the current year for these. I'll keep reCAPTCHA enabled to help keep the spam bots at bay. And this is where you can customize the colors on your form and add a header image if you'd like. If you've already set up a global header image in your brand preferences, it would show up here. Click Save. And now we can add our questions to the form. We recommend keeping lead capture forms simple. You can always gather more information with a follow-up questionnaire. So try to keep your lead capture forms limited to basic questions that make it fast and easy for your leads to get their foot into your proverbial door. Name and email addresses are already done and are the bare minimum you can have on a lead capture form, by the way. And choosing add question gives me the list of question types I can use. I'll choose short answer for phone, map it to the lead's phone number in 17 hats, and choose whether or not I want this field to be required. Click save when I'm ready to add the next question. Now I want to know what service they're interested in. I'll click add question and choose the choose from a list option. It defaults to three possible answers, but you can add and delete based on your needs. I'll make my question, which service are you interested in? And I'll require an answer to this one because whatever they choose will trigger a workflow based on their answer. For this video, I'm pretending my business is web design. So I'll list three possible web design services here.
I'll choose which workflow to trigger under each answer, so my leads will receive communication based on the service they're interested in instead of a one-size-fits-all autoresponder. In case you're wondering, these workflows are ones I already set up earlier. So if you need to set up workflows, don't worry, you can do that. Just go to 17hatsuniversity.com and search for workflows to find plenty of help for getting that done. I'll also assign project tags to further organize my projects. Future me will thank me. Click Save, and we'll add one more important question. How did you find me? Click Add Question and choose Lead Source. I'll make this a required question as well. Each of these options correlates to active lead sources you set up in the reporting section. You can edit existing ones, add new ones, or drag inactive sources to the inactive section if you no longer need them. Hey look, more places to add contact and project tags. Remember, tags are searchable and are also the backbone of our pipelines feature, so they're very powerful and worth taking some time to add. You can always go back and edit them and change them later. Now let's see what this looks like for our leads. Click on View Form to see the standalone version. It'll open in a new tab. Looking good. Once you're happy with how it all looks and you've tested it out on yourself, use it by choosing one of the four options in the Install Form dropdown. Each option gives you on-screen instructions on how to use it or install it. But if you're still not sure, or if I referred to any features in this video you want to know more about, Check help.17hats.com or 17hatsuniversity.com for a deep library of videos and articles about 17 hats. And there it is, friends. The humble lead capture form. It's like the raindrop that starts the river. The river that carves the canyon. The acorn that becomes the mighty oak. Or just five to 10 minutes today that saves you hours in the future, delights your clients, and helps run your business like a business.